going on guys I'm gonna give everybody a real quick tip here on how to increase your FPS on Arma 3 guys now this is guaranteed to boost you some FPS I don't know how drastic it's gonna be but it will indeed help your guys performance a bit okay so what you want to do now I think this is just gonna be with I have a GeForce GTX um, graphics card so what I do is I right click my desktop screen click on Nvidia control panels and then once this screen pops up you will go to manage 3d settings now for global settings you can do this what I'm going to tell you guys as a overall thing on your graphics card that'll set these settings for everything that you're doing or you go to program settings and on this drop down here you find what it is that you're trying to en to enhance for us we're gonna do arma 3 so there is one two three four things here that we're going to um, adjust here now vertical sync you want to put to adaptive I believe that's correct vertical sync adaptive triple buffering will be off now be careful guys if you're scrolling on this it might change the file that you've selected so use this just to be safe alright guys because you don't want this to change somewhere else when you're doing stuff so arma 3 okay see see how I'm scrolling and it changed okay let's get it all right vertical sync is adaptive triple buffering will be off threaded optimization is going to be on the texture quality I put high quality but I think usually it's performance I'm not sure I'm gonna put performance but this is not one that you guys need to do here this is just something that I did okay so it's gonna be damn it arm of three okay vertical sync adaptive threaded optimization on texture filtering damn did I change that let's restore this one. This will reset all the same firmware 3 that will be reset to value that the software shipped with. All right. Okay. See, this this is going to be what it looked like originally. All right. Vertical sync, adaptive, triple buffering, off, threaded optimization will be on. Threaded optimization on. Okay. And then that's three. And then power management will be set to performance. Prefer maximum performance. And then, yeah. So let's, yeah, okay. And that should be it, guys. That should boost you guys up a little bit. Let me know if it worked for you guys. I was getting mid 20 I had um uh or I have and had I had a GTX 760 and then I upgraded to the <clears throat> GTX 980 well, on both cards I wasn't getting the FPS that I wanted talk to Nvidia and everything they suggested these boom my FPS went from low FPS all the way up to 60 now if you guys are noticing that you're getting the 60 FPS cap and it's bothering you guys and you know that your cards able to give you more FPS there's a couple of things you guys got to consider one it's your monitor if you have a 60 Hertz monitor it's gonna cap out there cuz your monitor can't do more than that but anyway so for that it's basically what we're doing here you'll go to global settings 
and go to vertical sync. Shut vertical sync right off. Bada boom. Bada bang. And that should be it, guys. And that'll give you your 120 FPS or your 500 FPS on Minecraft and all that craziness that you guys love. So, yeah. Go ahead, leave a comment, guys. Let me know if it worked for you the way it worked for me. I was extremely happy once my FPS went up tons. So, yeah, hopefully this freaking video helped you guys out a little bit because I know how frustrating it is to have shitty FPS when you know damn well your graphics card is capable of doing better than mid-20s. Now, also consider, guys, your settings on Arma 3 are going to be a major, major factor in the performance that you guys are going to get. So, on the, um, like, the distance and all that, keep it around 2,000. And really, truly, honestly, ultra and very high are, like, pretty damn close. So, if you can get away with it and it not bother you too much, just put it on very high. And dick around with those settings, see what looks better. Sometimes the higher settings don't look as good as if you were to kick it down a notch just because of the fact that your graphics card can't handle it. So if you know you don't have a beastie card, kick it down a notch. It's still going to look beautiful. The performance is going to be awesome. You know, sometimes you just have to sacrifice a little visual candy for some performance, guys. That's just the way it is. Alright guys, thanks for watching.